This video will demonstrate the insertion of a pigtail catheter using Seldinger technique for a spontaneous pneumothorax. Please refer to the Infonet website under Pigtail Pneumothorax for the complete written protocol, nursing orders, and written insertion instructions. Prepare necessary equipment. The complete list of required materials can be found in the document titled Pneumothorax Protocol Small Bore Pigtail Catheter Physician Orders. Position the patient supine. If patient condition allows, elevate the head of the bed to 30 degrees. On the affected side, place the patient's arm over the head as demonstrated here. Apply supplemental oxygen, pulse oximeter, cardiac monitor, and BP monitor. Consider medication for sedation and analgesia. There are two acceptable insertion sites. The first is at the fourth or fifth intercostal space between the mid and anterior axillary lines. Care should be taken to avoid insertion through breast tissue. If necessary, retract breast tissue with tape. The alternative insertion site is the second intercostal space at the mid clavicular line. Open the tray, set aside sponge forceps, needle driver, and scissors. Prepare local anesthetic, pavidine solution, scalpel, flexitrac, and suture. Don, mask, gown, and gloves. Using pavidine, prep a large area. Include the region from sternum to posterior axillary line and clavicle down to inferior rib margin. Remember to prep the axilla. Prep for a total of three times. Drape the entire area. Draw up 20 cc's of lidocaine. Re-landmark and infiltrate the skin using a 25 gauge one and a half inch needle. Inject over the superior border of the rib to avoid the neurovascular bundle. Anesthetize the periosteum. Aspirate while advancing needle through subcutaneous tissue. Return of air indicates the parietal pleura has been reached. Note the depth reached by the seeker needle. Inject a bolus of local anesthetic to freeze the pleura. Attach the needle to a syringe containing lidocaine or normal saline. Insert the needle toward the pleural space until air is aspirated into the syringe. Holding the needle securely in place, remove the syringe. Insert the guide wire through the needle and into the pleural space. Withdraw the needle, leaving the guide wire in place. Pierce the skin adjacent to the guide wire with the scalpel. Thread the dilator over the guide wire to the depth determined by the seeker needle used for local anesthetic. Remove the dilator, leaving the guide wire in place. The new pigtail catheter has several differences from the old one. It has a slightly larger diameter of 14 French. And it has a new part called the obturator, which is situated diagonally across the package when opened.
During preparation for the procedure, insert the obturator into the stopcock, which is already attached to the pigtail catheter. This will unwind the curl of the pigtail. Attach the obturator to the stopcock by lure lock. The entire assembly is threaded over the guide wire. Ensure the guide wire end exits through the obturator. When inserting the pigtail into the pleural cavity, the obturator gives you some ability to guide the pigtail superiorly. Remove the guide wire, then remove the obturator and stopcock as a unit by unlocking the lure lock between the stopcock and pigtail catheter. The rest of the procedure is identical to before. Place a few drops of normal saline or lidocaine in the catheter opening. If the catheter is in the pleural space, the fluid will flow down the catheter. Ask the patient to cough and the fluid will be expelled. Suture the catheter to the skin. Have an assistant open the connecting tube. Attach the connecting tube to the pigtail. Attach the connecting tube to an underwater seal apparatus, the pleurovac. Apply waterproof tape to the connection. Apply an occlusive dressing, such as adaptic, and drain sponges. Tape the pigtail to the chest. A flexi track may be used. Finish the dressing with Mefix, avoiding the nipple. Set the suction to minus 20 centimeters of water. You should observe the orange float rising once the wall suction is applied. Bubbles will appear in the air leak meter if there is an air leak 
or if patient coughs. After one hour, a portable chest x-ray should be obtained. On chest x-ray, the lung should be fully expanded. Also, the tip of the catheter will be coiled like a pig's tail if it is correctly placed in the pleural cavity. If chest x-ray and patient status satisfactory, clamp the connecting tube and remove the pleurovac. Attach the pneumostat. Remove clamps. Apply waterproof tape to the connection. Place a few drops of fluid in the bubble chamber of the pneumostat. Ask the patient to cough and observe for air bubbles. After one hour, obtain PA and lateral chest x-ray. On chest x-ray, ensure that the lung is still fully expanded. Refer to the pneumothorax protocol for discharge eligibility and instructions.